This is Karen. Hey, everybody. I am Shane. Today we're looking at part one of our lesson called Daily Conversation: Riding in a Taxi. And the vocabulary words are luggage. Luggage. Larry placed his luggage into the back of the car. Rate. Rate. The student rate is seven dollars, while the normal ticket price is ten dollars. Hmm. Accident. Accident. Nancy got into an accident on her way to work. Oh no. Aww. Route. Route. We need to take a different route because this one is closed. Oh no. So sad. But I guess. Hmm, maybe we can call a taxi if we、oh. can find our way back. Hey, good, good. I know that there's a video that comes with this lesson with a very handsome <laughs> taxi driver in it. Really? Okay.、Yeah. So you guys can enjoy the taxi driver, the video later. Yeah, but he probably doesn't look like most of the taxi drivers you'll see in Taiwan, right?、Mm-hmm. But speaking of Taiwan and taxis, it's so convenient in Taiwan. Ah,、uh, it is very, very convenient, especially in Taipei. Oh yeah,、mm-hmm. especially in Taipei, and they're so honest in Taipei too. So the taxi drivers in other countries, when I'm traveling, I'm、yeah. always worried they're going to trick me or、yeah. take me on a very long route and try to get more money from me. But I think that's the good thing about technology these days, because you can have your own Google Map,、ah. so you can check first before you, you know, take go on the taxi. Yeah. Have you ever told the taxi driver, "Hey, hey, hey, don't go this way, go the other way"? Have you done that before? I have. Oh wow. But I don't say, "Hey, hey, hey." I say, "Can you go this way, please?" <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I ask politely. You're more polite than I am. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Yes, because I believe if you're nice to people, people will be nice to you. Wow, that's a very good way to end this lesson. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's learn more. Enjoy today's lesson. Enjoy. John is ordering a taxi to bring him to the airport. Hello, I'd like to order a taxi. I need to go to the airport. Sure. Where and when would you like to be picked up? I'm at one five four Brick Lane. My flight departs this evening at 7:45, so I want to leave my place at 5 o'clock p.m. Got it. How many pieces of luggage will there be? Just one medium-sized suitcase and a carry-on. For this ride, will I be charged a fixed rate or by the meter? We charge a fixed rate of $50 to the airport from anywhere within the city limits. Sounds good. Thank you. Today's lesson is called "Daily Conversation: Riding in a Taxi," Part One. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff, and I'm Mike, and I love taxis. Well, I don't love taxis, but they're a very convenient way of getting around Taiwan. We should point out that Taiwan, from my experience, is one of the best countries for taxis in the world. Because they're quite cheap here, that's the big difference. In most other places, they are expensive or really expensive. So be careful when you're traveling. Don't just jump in a taxi like you would here in Taipei or Gaosheng or somewhere. Really pay attention to what you pay because the prices will be much higher. Yes, that is totally true. Anyways, part one of our lesson is called. Calling for a taxi. Okay, sometimes you call for a taxi. You can be on the street holding your hand up. That's hailing a taxi. But sometimes you need to order a taxi or call for a taxi. And yes, John here is ordering a taxi to bring him to the airport. So maybe he's in his home and he's going to call the taxi service and arrange for a taxi to come and get him. And take him somewhere to the airport. If you have a lot of heavy bags, or if it's late, or if it's raining outside, yeah, you might not want to go down to the street to hail a taxi. Calling for one from home or using an app, if you have one, would be a better way to do it. So that's what John's doing. Hello, he says. I'd like to order a taxi. I need to go to the airport. Obviously, he's already called the taxi company. They've answered ABC Taxis, and now he's telling them what he wants and where he wants to go. And the operator responds to John, "Ah,、oh, so you need to go to the airport? Sure. Where and when would you like to be picked up?" 
So tell us where and when, where are you and what time you need to be picked up and we'll be there. And John does that. The where is his address. He says, I'm at 154 Brick Lane. Then he gives them the time. He says, well, my flight departs this evening at 745, so I want to leave my place at 5 p.m. All right, that sounds good. So the operator takes down all that information, and when she does that, she says, got it, or okay, understood. And then there's one more question. How many pieces of luggage will there be, right? The operator knows he's going to the airport. He's going to probably be traveling. And if he's traveling, he will probably also have luggage with him. What is luggage? This noun is basically just the bags that you use for traveling, okay? Luggage can be anything from a bag you carry on your shoulder to a big metal suitcase to one of those big bags people go mountain climbing or hiking with. All of that stuff. It doesn't come in one shape or size, but basically if it's a bag that you are taking to travel with, we would call that luggage. Now your school bag or that bag that you carry your computer in to go to work, that's not so much luggage. Luggage is usually for traveling, especially when you're traveling long distances. For example, Larry placed his luggage into the back of the car. We should point out that luggage is a non-countable noun, so you would never say luggages, just some luggage or a lot of luggage. Yeah, you can have a piece of luggage or pieces of luggage. Anyways, as for John's luggage, John says, just one medium-sized suitcase and a carry-on, okay? And he also says, for this ride, will I be charged a fixed rate or by the meter? Yes, sometimes when you get into a taxi, there's a little contraption, a little electronic gizmo on the dashboard that keeps track of how much money you're gonna have to pay for your ride. On the other hand, you can also have a fixed rate ride. Very often when you're going to the airport, it'll be a fixed rate ride. They'll say it costs 1,000 NT dollars to go to the airport and they won't use the meter. You'll just pay that amount when you get out of the taxi. Anyways, here we do have the word rate. Here it's being used as a noun and here it just means a price, a special amount, the amount you'll have to pay for something. For example, the student rate is seven dollars while the normal ticket price is ten dollars okay now next we hear from the operator again the mm. operator says we charge a fixed rate of fifty dollars to the airport from anywhere within the city limits so that sounds good to john so john says sounds good and then he says thank you so his taxi is on its way and we are on our way to a break let's do that now and then we'll be back Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这两天的绘画是关于搭计程车。在第一个段落里面，我们看到 John 打电话要叫计程车。好，那如果你是在路边招计程车，你可以用 hail 这个动词，它是拼作 h a i l。hail 它表示招呼或是招计程车。hail a taxi 就表示招计程车。好，那现在 John 正在打电话预约一辆计程车，他是要去机场，他就把上车地点和出发的时间告诉接线生。对方就问他说：“有几件行李 ？”John 说：“他只有一个中型的手提箱，还有一件随身行李。”那接着 John 想要了解说：“这趟路程是收固定费用，还是照跳表计费呢？”接线生告诉他：“从市区任何一个地点到机场都是收取固定的费用，五十美元。”好，刚刚 Jeff 老师谈到，计程车跳表机就是仪表板附近的一个设备。那老师有用到 dashboard， dashboard 就是仪表板，它是拼作 d a s h b o a r d。好，老师还提到两个字比较难，我们要学起来 contraption， contraption 它是拼作 c o n t r a p t i o n， contraption 表示奇怪的装置或是设备仪器。那么 gizmo。Gizmo， 它是拼作 G I Z M O， 那这个字表示新奇的小器具、精巧的小玩意儿。好，再来看两个单字 ，luggage。Luggage， 它是行李，是不可数名词哦。所以你要表达一件行李，英文可以说 a piece of luggage。再来看 rate。
。Rate 在这边是当名词，表示价格费用。那我们文中的 fixed rate 就表示固定费用。好，顺便补充一下 ，suitcase。Suitcase， 它是指手提箱、小型的行李箱，而 carry on， carry on 就是用来表达随身行李、手提行李。至于 meter， meter 我们知道有公尺的意思嘛？可是在这边它是指计程车的计费表。解华课文中。On the way to the airport, John experiences some unexpected delays. We've been sitting here for nearly 15 minutes. Can you tell what's causing the traffic jam? I'm not sure. There may be a road accident up ahead, or it could just be the usual rush hour delay you get on a Friday evening. Well, I've got a plane to catch. Is there an alternative route we could take? There's one off the next exit, which is around 200 meters away, but I can't guarantee it'll be any faster. Please try it. I don't want to miss my flight. 好 ，right， we've got John. John is going to take a taxi to the airport. Before the break, he had made his reservation, and everything was going smoothly. It was smooth sailing for John. Well, that's true. The taxi ordering was fine, and we assume the taxi came to his house. At the right time, but then things started to the, go a little the, wrong. The smooth sailing、right. came to an end. Yes, the second part of our dialogue is called "some problems on the highway." Yes, when things are going great, smooth sailing, that means you don't have any problems. Things go according to plan, but then hey. Life, life happens, and you have problems. Okay, and here John is going to have some problems on the highway. Yes, on the way to the airport, John experiences some unexpected delays.、Uh, delay is something that's going to slow you down and make it take longer to do what you want. And of course, if you're getting to the airport to try to catch a plane, this could be a serious. Problem. So John's kind of looking. He sees all the cars. He notices they haven't gone very far for quite a while. So he says to the driver, "We've been sitting here for nearly 15 minutes." And then he asks, "Can you tell what's causing the traffic jam?" So a traffic jam is when those cars are basically sitting on a road they should be moving quickly on, but they're jammed. They're stopped. He's hoping maybe the driver can see ahead and see, you know, is there a problem? Is there an accident? Are there workers on the road? What's going on? Why are we stopped on the highway? Now John thinks that the driver has special abilities, maybe, but the driver is a human being. He's also stuck there in traffic, and he has no idea what is causing the traffic jam. He says, "I'm not sure." Then he puts forth some suggestions. He says. There may be a road accident up ahead,、mm -hmm. or it could just be the usual rush hour delay you get on a Friday evening.、Mm, yes, these、true. two things can cause traffic jams. That's right. An accident is some kind of mishap. It's some kind of unplanned event where something goes wrong. It could be something small, like knocking over a glass of water, or it could be something big, like an airplane crashing and people getting hurt. These are all things that you don't want to happen. But sometimes, because of bad luck or something else, they do happen. But usually, they're bad. We、mm. don't usually have a lot of good accidents. Generally, an accident is something unplanned and not good. For example, Nancy got into an accident on her way to work. Oh goodness! I hope she's okay. Yeah, me too. I hope she's not hurt. Anyways, John continues. He says, "Well, driver." I've got a plane to catch, and this traffic is no good. And then he asks the driver a question:、hmm. Do we have to use this road where there's all this traffic, or is there an alternative route or route that we could take?、Uh -huh. hmm. Now here we have the word route. Some people say route. This word is a noun. A route is a way that you can take. So the road that they're on right now. Is one way to the airport. It's the highway route. 
but maybe you can take some other roads to get to the air to get to the airport. That would be another way or another route to the airport. For example, we need to take a different route because this one is closed. Yes, if a road is closed, you're going to have to go to your destination in a different way or by using a different route. That's right. When we use a GPS or Google Maps and you want to know how to get from here to here, often it shows you two or three ways to go. Those are two or three different routes, but sometimes one will take longer than the other. And that's kind of the problem here. The driver says there's one off the next exit which is around 200 meters away, but I can't guarantee it'll be any faster. For John, he's really focused on the time. He says, please try it. I don't want to miss my flight. I've got a plane to catch. He's like a gambler who needs to win, so he's gonna keep rolling those dice and hope he has some better luck. Personally, I think I would just stay there. He's gonna try the alternative yeah. route, though. All right, folks, with that, this part of our lesson is now in the books, but don't go away. We'll be back after this. 老师们就用到smooth sailing smooth sailing这个用语字面上的意思是平顺的航程 那John因为要赶飞机，他很着急，他就问司机有没有别的替代路线。司机说有啦，下一个出口有一条路，可是他没有办法保证会快多少。John真的很怕赶不上飞机，所以他就想碰碰运气，请司机改走那一条路。最后
。派对邀约的问法与回应。I'm so excited for the party tonight. Me too. Wait, you're not invited. What? Sorry.、Uh, Why don't we do this? We'll talk about this later. That's kind of awkward. Okay. Hi, 大家好，我是哈利。Hey, everybody. I'm Shane. Um, 我们今天要介绍就是派对的邀约问法跟回答。See, I was kidding. It's just about the party. Oh,、uh, silly. Okay. <laughs> 所以其实你是真的想要邀我去。I was going to ask you. <laughs> do you want to tag along? Oh, 要不要一起去？要不要一起来？是、yeah. tag along. Tag tag 是什么意思 ？Tag 好像只是 tag along， 就是这样。感觉好，我们 tag along。<laughs> tag 好走。<laughs> 就是我真的不知道。Do you want to tag along? <laughs> 我们就是讲讲讲就对了。对，就有点像我 tag， 然后就黏着他一起去了。<laughs> 对，好像只有点 come along 的意思。<laughs> 对对对，一起来。那如果我想要问说，哎、欸，这派对有没有什么就是服装的规定 ？Yeah, you definitely can't dress like this at a party. <笑>我不能穿着去派对。Yeah, you have to look cute like that. Okay, 那我要怎么问呢 ？Is there a dress code for the party? Oh, okay, dress code. 所以 dress code 就是服装规定的意思。对。Okay. 因为有的时候也许是个 theme party。哦，有一些 party 有主题。对啊，对啊。Okay. Okay. Okay. 那。如果我们说哦，我们想要有一个 party， 因为就是大家聚在一起的感觉，就是很棒。哦，这个很简单。It's nice to get together with everyone. Oh, okay, get together 就是大家聚集在一起。嗯、mm. ，All right. This party is going to be amazing. Okay, 你需要 calm down 一下。I'm sorry.、Okay. <laughs> I'm really excited. Okay, so 他今天很兴奋，因为这个派对会很好玩。This party is going to be amazing. Yeah, amazing. 一定要这样说。Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> But you can say amazing for anything. This cake is amazing. Yeah, 其实你要说任何事情很棒的话，都可以用 amazing. 对，后面要加一个抖音。哈哈哈哈哈哈 ！This cake is amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 不用这样子那么夸张，这小小哎。So if we're gonna stay up. All night. Do you know how to say that? There's a special、oh, way we say we're going to stay up all night. So, if I want to go to the social party, to attend the party, ah, how do you say? Social. Yeah, I will be up all night. Ah, yeah. Pull an all nighter. For example, we're going to pull an all nighter. All nighter. Yeah. So it's going to be all night. So it's an all nighter. Oh, okay. So, but why is it called pull? Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, good question. Ah,、uh, so it's also your language problem, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Hey, there's a dictionary. Just look it up, okay? <laughs> 对，所以不是真的要拉一整个晚上。Okay? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that. Because <laughs>、yeah. maybe pull feels like it should stop a little bit earlier, but we're gonna pull、uh, and all that. Oh, okay. See, so actually, I do know. I'm really smart. All right. So, we're going to go to live action. Let's go to the party, live action party! <laughs> yeah. We're going to a party now. Do you want to tag along? Everyone will be there. Sure. Is there a dress code for the party? I didn't bring a change of clothes with me. No, it's super casual. Okay. It'll be nice to get together with everyone. Totally. This party is going to be amazing. I'm pretty sure we're going to pull an all-nighter. Sounds awesome. Let me just text my parents so they know where I'll be. Cool. Number one, do you want to tag along? Number two, is there a dress code for the party? Number three, it's nice to get together with everyone. Number four, this party is going to be amazing. Number five. We're gonna pull an all-nighter. <laughs>